what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more vikings reaction season 2 episode 8 i think we're watching today um yes season 2 episode 8 so let's go see what this is all about man i um to be honest guys i'm not in the greatest of moods right now i'm hoping that you know usually you know i i do my reaction sometimes to just get my mind off of certain things um so let's go watch this and see what it's all about um yes in the last episode that we watched we got to see what the blood eagle was very gruesome scene there at the end um but i have to say Jarl borg went out like a g he went out like a g no screaming um and the 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 the, the, the tale is that if you know if you scream you won't get into valhalla you know, so, um, and I'm glad that it's, that it was Ragnar that carried out the execution, um, was very fitting that he was the one that got to do that, so, and it wasn't like him standing by while, you know, some spiritual person do it or something like that, like, I'm glad that it's him that did it, you know, as I said, man, in the last reaction, a lot of, you know, a couple of people was saying that, you know, I was confusing them when I was saying what was I confused about or if they changed their mind or not. Um, it was not made clear in the episode why King Horik and Floki decided not to free y'all Borg. That's what I was confused about. I like to see storylines go from one step to the next step to the other step to the next step i like continuousness in storylines i hate when there's a part of the storyline that you're following and it's just it just gets skipped over and you just left to assume what happens like i do not like that there's, there should have been some sort of dialogue that extended to say what happened? Why did they decide? Is it because Lagertha came into the picture? What is the situation? That's what I was confused about, guys. But I've chalked it up. A lot of you guys said it's because um, Lagertha came. They didn't need him anymore. They didn't need his ship. They were waiting on some, you know, a Jarl, a Earl, or something to step in and to replenish their forces or whatever so they can go back to England. Um, So... Let's just chalk it up to that. But as I said, I, I'm not a person. I do not like plot holes in stories. I like to see continuous behavior. And they've been doing so well in telling the story. But for some reason, maybe they've maybe they cut that scene, you know, because they probably say, OK, let's let them figure it out. We're over time or something of the sort. But again, if you guys can direct me to something that, you know, that was in that direction of storytelling and i just missed it during the episode then you can direct me to that because maybe i'm wrong maybe i just missed it you know sitting here watching it and i just missed it okay so thank you guys for tuning in as always remember to hit that like button okay hit that like button if the first time you watch and make sure you hit that subscribe button okay and there's more to come okay so thank you guys so much for watching once again really appreciate you guys you already know what to do link is down in the description go watch the episode meet me right back here for the review all right so that episode was entertaining to say the least turn this damn fan off anyways um yeah so that episode was pretty enter entertaining story-wise right we got some development in you know the childbirth and stuff like that i'm glad that we didn't kill a baby i um, very glad that that didn't happen um at first i was very confused as to what was wrong with the baby you know what i'm saying obviously something was wrong but we weren't being shown or told what was wrong until siggy um forced it out of um Oslog. so it's you know finally showed her what was wrong because 
but I'm saying, but she was there when the when the child was born. How did she not see that something was wrong with the child at that point? You know what I'm saying? So it was a little confusing there, but you know, it was cleared up. I was glad that they didn't pour it over into another episode to tell us what was really wrong, what was really going on. So apparently there's something wrong with the child as in look like he was born without feet it seems seems like seems like that's what happened so um so basically he'll never be able to walk so i mean she did tell him and i think it's about time ragnar starts listening to aslog because she is a seer um it, it has been confirmed too many times that she has, as I've talked about it before, that she has some sort of premonition um, ability, right, where she can see into the future. It may not be far into the future, but she sees very thing like short term things. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like the the gods open their eyes or whatever you want to call it she can discern things so that's a pretty cool thing for her to have and for her to be ragnar's wife even though i prefer him to be with lagatha okay hopefully i said that right this time everybody happy now yeah <laughs> anyways so hopefully that in turn you know all these things can can be sorted out and he starts kind of listening to her uh, um, a little bit more because she may she may not have insight into other things though I don't know maybe it's just for her and his future she sees things about maybe that's her situation I, I don't know so um, I'm still kind of foggy of understanding what really happened back where Lagatha is from with the dude right so what's his name Einar I think um, so I wasn't really clear on that. I'm probably going to have to rewatch that scene to understand really where they were coming from when it comes on to, when it, when it, when it comes on to the discussion they were having where, when, when we watched it, when she stabbed dude in the eye, right? Like there was no indication that anything was planned. You get what I'm saying? Like. But now they're saying that they had planned to kill him, but there was no discussion. I mean, unless I miss it, as I said, guys, I might miss some things, even though I'm sitting there watching it, I might not, I might see it, but I don't remember it. I, that's what I should say. I might see it, but I didn't remember it. So if there was a scene where this was discussed and I wasn't really, maybe I wasn't paying attention as much, or maybe I just fogged over in my memory or whatever the situation is then definitely i would love you guys to direct me to that as i've said before you know a lot of times like on most of the react uh, on most of the reaction there's always this one person that comes on and be like you're not paying attention right how did you not pick up on that and i'm always like i'm watching a thing for the first time you know i've never been the type of person that goes on to other people's reaction videos and stuff like that like i've watched naruto probably like i want to say if you guys know the, the 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 anime naruto i've probably watched it probably like about 10 times over and i've never gone to somebody's channel that's reacting to it um and say how did they not pick up on that or write that stuff in their comment section because i didn't get everything that was going on or i didn't remember everything about it the first time i watched it these people are watching the stuff for the first time. You can't expect me to see everything and remember everything. Nobody does that. I'm not sitting here taking notes. You get what I'm saying? And I noticed that, you know, for the most part, 99% of the time, you know what I'm saying? Most people are very encouraging and, you know, they're happy to see me reacting. Don't get me wrong. It's just that 1% I can't get rid of. <laughs> you know it's just, it's just like there's always somebody right but anyways man as i said man if if there is a part that you felt like i missed or i there was this discussion about um that plan even though i don't think there was please direct me to that scene i'll go back and watch it um so so yeah so they're off they've left 
um, Bjorn is in love, right? Bjorn is in love, and he's being loved back. So his love is requited, which is, um, which I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. It was, it was just kind of thrown in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, the relationship didn't really develop. You get what I'm saying? That's why I was asking, does she love you? Because you're telling you you love her, and then she just said, okay, I love you. So I was like, okay. Um, it's not that big a deal. It's it's a side story, so it, it, does, it doesn't affect the plot in any way going forward. At, at least not in my opinion. So, um, so yeah. So, King Horik and his son is real salty. They went over to Essex. Ragnar, he's just concerned about Athelstan. Is Athelstan alive? What are we going to do when we get over there? Did they have some sort of discussion on the boat about how they're going to do things when they get over there? And Lagatha just got to, she just got to play along. And I feel like that's what's happening right now. I feel like Ragnar, Rolo, and Lagatha is, they have plans to do some stuff together. Um, and they just got to play along, you know, like how Lagatha came into the meeting and she was, she was disagreeing with Ragnar. I think she knew exactly what Ragnar was going to do, but she's just playing along so King Horik doesn't get wind of what they're trying to do. I don't know exactly what they're trying to do, but I think they're trying to strike a deal to get Hathaston back. Now, because of what King Horik and his son went and ambushed the king's son, King Edberg's son, that shit ain't happening. I tell you, this is war now. They going to fight. Ain't no invite to no castle or nothing like that. Now they're forced to fight because now Aetherwolf going to have to go back and tell his dad, hey, man, we were ambushed. They didn't mean to, to meet or talk or nothing like that. So it, 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 it's, it's, it's going to get crazy now. I mean, we're winding down to the end of the season. I think it's like I don't know how many episodes are left or left. I'm going to have to check. I think it's like one or two episodes left for the season. Um, but it looks like, you know, it, it, it's come to a boil to the brim of the pot. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's going to be crazy to see this, this battle because I think a battle is going to happen. Um, I don't want to talk about this princess. That's a nymphomaniac. She don't care how many men she's, she sleeps with at a time. She wants to experience that Northman um, penis and, you know, stuff. <laughs> so she's way out there she's a slut whore whatever however you want to describe her she's all of that and probably worse <laughs> so she's definitely not in the the one man you know the one man thing she's not about monogamy she's about that polygamous all at once gangbang types type stuff right so she, I mean, she, she, King Edward couldn't handle her. I think King Edward was in there for a, for a good portion of time putting in that work, and he was like, "Listen, man, I need to sleep. Okay, you want to keep going? Hey, you can have at it. I send all these guys in there, uh, and maybe at some point you'll feel like you you you're tired. Okay, so that um." So that goes on for her. I don't remember her name. Don't ask me. It's a weird ass name. Okay. So when it comes on to the old encompassing of the episode, it was a great episode, man. Everything was, was done well. The conversations, very, a lot of, a lot of tension filled, um, conversations, man. Jesus. There's a lot of tension in this episode building up, of course, for the next or for this big fight. That's obviously coming. Um, so I'm still not sure on what Floki wants to do. I am confused about his character at this point. I don't know what he's up to. Is he, is he like playing the fool to see what Horik really is up to? Or is he really like not wanting to be around Ragnar anymore? Um, did, I mean, this was being, it, it, it's been brewing. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 um, the second guessing of Ragnar by Lo by Floki, there was a lot of you know what I'm saying. It's been brewing, so it's not surprising to the to the story, of course, for him to do what he's doing. But at the same time, the way how he's act how he acted during the episode, especially that conversation he had with King Horik on the boat, will have me saying the way how he looked at King Horik when King Horik was leaving, made me believe that 
I feel like Floki is looking at this dude like, you will say anything to get me to be on your side. You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, he doesn't go too stupid because the thing about it is that, like, I still feel like Floki and Ragnar are boys. You know what I'm saying? Like, they they boys. They the, the the people in this in this story that I love the most their relationship, um, Ragnar Athelstan, um, Ragnar and Floki's relationship. I love their relationship. Um, also, Ragnar and 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 Rolo's relationship. It was on the rock, kind of rocky start there, but I think they're coming around to trusting each other again. So that was good, you know, character development and good for the story. Also. Um, other relationships that I like, um, I like the interactions between Bjorn and, and Lagatha, uh, if, yeah, Lagatha, right? So, I like, <laughs> I like their relationship, uh, mother and son, very cool, very cool. Um, so yeah, man, that's all I have to say for now, hopefully you guys enjoyed my review, as I said, man, leave it down in the comment section, anything that you have to say about this episode, let me know how you felt about it the first time you watched it, of course, and I will see you guys next time on some more Vikings, man, peace out, your boys out.